Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that was highly requested after my Gucci dupe video um, to do like more dupe videos and today I am bringing you my Chanel dupes. Um, so yeah, I've literally been waiting for these parcels to come to film. Um, I've ordered loads of stuff, like I'm not going to lie, I probably won't keep it all, I just wanted to order so that I can show you guys. I didn't order like everything on the high street so I will link below also other alternatives. But yeah, so just so you know, not all of these things are mine. I have ordered them to show you guys and then I might keep some of it, but I'm not going to keep all of it because otherwise I'd be broke. So the first thing I'll start with is something like not necessarily so like Chanel-y, like iconic Chanel, is my necklace. Um, so I didn't actually buy this to be like Chanel, I just saw it in Zara and loved it. And then someone was like, oh my god, that necklace is so Chanel on my Instagram. And I was like, is it? And then I was like, oh, I'm totally going to include it in my video then. So yeah, <laughs> this necklace is so Chanel apparently. So I'm going to start with clothes before I get onto the accessories. And these are just a couple of pieces that I have in my wardrobe that I feel has got the kind of like Chanel vibe. Obviously, like they're not exact copies. I'm not saying that Chanel have a piece of clothing like this. I just feel like they've got that kind of Chanel look, that Chanel vibe. Um, so first off is this jumper that I got from Laura Ashley actually and I really love this. I'll put pictures of me wearing it in because I'm not going to try them all on. Um, but yes, I literally love this. I think it's got such a Chanel vibe to it. It's kind of like a tweedy look. It's not tweed material but it's got that kind of tweedy look um, with um, like the black, grey and cream knit. So another piece that I've got that I wanted to include and also I feel like it wouldn't be a Chanel dupes video without a jacket um, is this jacket and this is from Hush and I got it for a collaboration I did with them recently because I just thought it was like a real simple classic style that's it's just like a great basic to have in your wardrobe and I just really feel like it has such a Chanel vibe to it. It's got like the frayed hem around the neckline which is so typical of like the Chanel jackets, um, the ones I've seen anyway. Um, it's got a couple of little pockets, it's like collarless style, um, and it's just a really nice kind of simple jacket. I know the Chanel ones have got the more like tweedy look to them, but I do think this is like quite similar. What I'll do as well is um, I'll link for the more iconic pieces like the jacket, I'll link below um, some other great alternatives. So I'll have a real search on the internet and find them and then link them. So for the Chanel accessory dupes, I've picked three pieces, no, three pairs of shoes, which are like the three iconic shoes that are around at the moment, and one bag, which is just like, obviously, just the iconic Chanel bag. There are some really great dupes for the boy bags, which I will leave below, but I haven't got one of those. Um, as I said, like, this is my own money that I'm buying them with, I know I'm going to return them, but I didn't want to go too crazy, so I will link those below. Um, there are some amazing boy, boy bag dupes, but for me as well, they kind of walk the line between, I think there's a really fine line between a dupe and a fake, and I'm very much on the dupe side, I prefer, than like a full-on fake. Um, so yeah, the boy bags are more fakes than dupes, but I will link them below if you're interested in getting one. So these shoes are very, very, very Chanel. The only thing that I can see that's like the main difference is the fact that the Chanel ones have got a pearl here. When I'm talking about the things, I'll put like a picture to show you, um, the, so you can see like the like, I'll put the picture of the Chanel ones. But yeah, so these are the pointed ones. I don't know what the Chanel ones are actually called. I probably should have done my research before this video. But yeah, so the Chanel ones have got like a pearl here, which is obviously a lovely detail. I'm sure you could probably DIY something if you really wanted to um, go for the full on Chanel look. I really like these. I'm actually tempted to keep this pair. Um, I think they're such a great classic shoe. Like I can imagine them looking amazing with just like a pair of ripped jeans and a knit or like that trophy jacket. Is that a trophy jacket? Like that jacket, um, some ripped jeans and then these. Um, I think they're a great dupe. Um, the one thing I would say is I have tried these already and they are a touch too small for me. So if you do go for these, then I would say to size up. So the next iconic style, which was more like last year, but I feel like it's a style that's probably going to be always in style, is the slingback. So these, this is not the traditional colourway, but I kind of like that about them because as I said, I prefer things like a dupe rather than a complete copy. So with it mixing up the colours, it's kind of like a nice way of a nod to the Chanel look, but without being like a full on fake. Um, so these are the ones, they had them last year that were like the full on fakes. Um, 
in Mango. I don't know if I'll bring them out again. Um, these are for Mango. These ones are... doesn't have price on, but all the prices will be below. Um, and yeah, these are beautiful. I can't actually try them on. They didn't have my size, but I wanted to order them to show you. So yeah, these ones will definitely be going back. Um, and yeah, so they've got the toe cap, which is exactly the same like the Chanel ones. This detail here is like perfectly the same. The nice heel. Um, these are a great shoe. And if they did have my size, I definitely would be keeping these because I just think they're the perfect kind of like day, night, casual, smart. Like they're just kind of the shoe that you could wear for anything. So the next pair of shoes are another iconic pair of Chanel shoes. These ones aren't quite so popular yet, but I feel like they're going to be a big hit in the summer. So I feel like this is a great dupe to get if you want to be kind of like really, really on trend. Um, so the Chanel shoes that have been in all of the ad campaigns and um, they're all over Pinterest right now, but I haven't necessarily seen them about quite so much on fashion bloggers and stuff yet, is the sandals. I'll put a picture here, and they're like a knotted sandal with um, like loads of uh, pearls and stuff. And as my sister said, you could probably DIY those. Um, I'm thinking of DIYing a pair because, um, or all keeping this pair, which is super similar. Um, and really great. The only difference is that they've got black beads and not pearls and I'm kind of not a fan of that but I think if you did get this pair then you could just add in a few bits because I think the whole thing of the Chanel one is that it's really chunky and this one's not quite as chunky but you could just get some more materials to like braid in there and like really work into it and build it up. Um, so yeah, if I do keep these which I'm still deciding then I think what I'll do is buy some cream like satiny material and some pearls and just um, thread them around but these are so great for dupes that they're, they're the only thing that I've seen that's similar on the high street to the Chanel ones um, and I think it's because they're still quite a new style that no one's really got around to making dupes of them yet so the final thing I have to show you is a Chanel bag dupe I did actually have an amazing dupe from Zara um, which was like a real real dupe and I'll put a picture here because they do still have it on sale and I'll link it below. Um, but the reason I got rid of it because um, I just bought a Chloe Faye which kind of did the same job. And I was always wearing that and not wearing the Zara one because the Zara one was so heavy. Like with nothing in, it was back breaking. So I just, even though I loved the bag, I just never wore it because it was too heavy. I just couldn't even bear the thought of wearing it. This one is actually £20. Like... Oh my god, it's the most cheap but also amazing dupe. So this is from Mango and it's like one of the smaller bags, um, which I actually really like this kind of size bag at the moment. And as we all know, micro bags are on trend, so you can get a dupe and be on trend. They do this in a couple of different colours. They did it in like a really nice olivey green too, and I couldn't decide between the two. And I'm still toying whether to keep this or not, because as you know, I do have like some new bags that I've bought recently, so I've got quite a few... Um, I don't know whether I need another one, but it is such a lovely classic. I love the gold detailing. It's got the chain strap like the Chanel ones. Um, it's got the kind of like snake skinny effect. Um, and then it's got the gold clasp here. And actually not all Chanel bags, I didn't realise this until I like properly researched it. So you can say that I'm not qualified to do this really. But anyway... Not all Chanel bags do have the CC logo clasp. They do, so, some of them do have a clasp like this, like this, like this. So yeah, it's not like completely out, like it is quite a good jeep. Um, and yeah, it's got the chain strap, it's quite a good length. You can have it over your shoulder like this, or across the body like this. Um, and it just like lands in quite a nice place. I think I'm convincing myself to keep it. And I just think navy as well is quite a classic color. Um, they don't have it in black, which is a shame, um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is, again, as I said, uh, for each style that I've picked, I'm going to link the dupe that I found and that I bought, and then I'll link other dupes, and for some of the styles that I haven't bought, because obviously I couldn't buy the world, I'll link, so like for the boy bag, for example. So I really hope that you liked this video, and I'm definitely up for doing more dupe videos, like you guys have already requested a Saint Laurent one and a Chloe one so once I've like got this one done and dusted I'll start looking at ordering things for those ones so let me know if there's any other designers that you want me to cover that I didn't mention and yeah I'll see you next time oh and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment <laughs> see you later bye